Good morning, everybody. Again, welcome to another edition of our End Zone Club, where we are pushing conversations that are bringing kids from potential to purpose. And today I had to break away and hear it from a woman's perspective. So I wanted to get one of my favorite collegiate WNBA former players and promise I'm a Muka Mora. How are you doing today, ma'am? Good. How are you? Awesome. So catch us up to speed real quick. Just kind of tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are. Yeah, so I am Promise Mukamara, and I grew up, I was born in New Jersey, but grew up in Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Arizona. Um, I went to college at Arizona State, where I played four years of basketball there and got my bachelor's in communications. Um, I was then drafted to the WNBA. I played for the Phoenix Mercury for two games and then I was released. Um, and then I took my talents overseas. Um, uh, my first year I played in Spain and then after that played in Germany, Romania, and now I'm in France in my sixth season. And I also play for the Nigerian national team, women's national team. Wow. Well, wow, you know, I think it's always a, a added benefit anytime you get a chance to travel and see outside of your community. They say most people only probably go 50 miles outside because it shapes your world outside of where you grew up at, which it shapes your world. But I want to ask you, what's like a verge that you carry with you everywhere you've been? Um, a virtue I kept with me is just keeping my faith. Um, being far from home, um, it, so my first year overseas, it was my first time um, ever leaving my, the state of Arizona to play basketball because um, I went to college in this in Arizona and stuff like that, and I got drafted. It was in Arizona, so um, keeping my faith was huge because when I went overseas, uh, there is so many horror stories about um, players not getting paid um just people losing their self overseas because it's very hard um you're far away um you're not with your family you're on two different time zones so that was hard and then also like the style of play in basketball um was hard for me to and hard for me to adjust to because um overseas like if you're american and you play overseas you have to you're, they're looking for you to score, do do like a lot of the, the the things on the court. Whereas in the states, you know, it's the work is kind of um, d divided amongst the players. Right, and stuff. right, right. And so, um, yeah. So my first year was hard for me because um, I'm used to playing team ball, but like when you get overseas, the Americans they want you to score and stuff like that, and like kind of like be a ball hog and um i wasn't i never played like that so um it was hard for me my first year um and uh just keeping my faith within like who i am and um staying in the bible uh because you could lose yourself while you're overseas um you you're just you're by yourself a lot majority of the time in your thoughts and stuff so um having that connection with god um really helped me throughout my years um overseas awesome i like that because one thing i'm i'm pulling from what you're saying is you stay true to yourself to who you are so basically what right. got you there was enough to get you through it right. well let me segue this a little bit and ask you another question give me an example of a strong leader that you played with and tell me why you thought they were strong leaders yeah um i think it's one of the strongest leader leader I um, played with was Ezine Kalu. She's my um, she's my teammate on the Nigerian national team, and just like her tenacity, her her vocal, like she's just always leading on the court, and um, and then all, all outside the court as well. She's a leader. Everyone looks up to her, um, and she's my best friend. So um, that's a leader I look up to. Well, one more question for you. I always like to believe that as we go along this course of life that we learn a lot along the way that we kind of wish we knew when we were younger. So mm -hmm. What's one piece of advice if you're looking at a young person that's following in your footsteps, wanting to play the game at a high level? 
what's one piece of advice that you know now that you would have given your younger self or another young person following in your path? Hmm. I think it would have to be, it may kind of sound, sound cliche, but just never give up on your goals and your dreams. Keep working hard. Um, like, I don't know how many times I've just, I like, I always, I always see people get, get to places I want to be or like get signed to teams that I want to get signed to. And it's, you know, it's kind of, um, you, it, it kind of, you don't want to compare yourself to the next person, but I mean, it's human nature to do that. And I, for me, I think just me just staying to my truth, staying true to myself and just working hard every day and just keeping my faith. Um, I think that's like a huge key. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I think that's always true because again, there's so much pressure put on you guys, not just from yourself, but you know, right. fans have like expectations. People around you have these expectations and it's right. always good to stay true to yourself. Well, Miss Promise, it has been a pleasure having you on today, but before we go, do you have any closing thoughts, anything you would like to address with the youth and, and anything you would like to say before we get out? Yeah. Um, just to the youth, just, you know, stay in school, work hard, um, you know, listen to, listen to the people that are older than you that are, that are in higher positions as far as teachers, parents, older siblings. Um, I, I know that was a huge part of a huge testimony in my career because, um, I always listened to what my brother told me or my parents told me or what the teacher said. I always got good grades. I was always a kind of a good student because I always listen. And then I think it shows throughout where I am right now and how far I've got because of all the stuff I did when I was younger. Awesome. I got to ask you, where's the favorite, your favorite place that you've been? Best attraction you've seen since you've been traveling all these other places. Oh man, I would have to say Paris. It's so breathtaking. It's, it's nothing like it. It's like a dream come true to be able to play in France right now and see Paris and experience the Eiffel Tower and then all the famous monuments. It's, it's a dream come true. Awesome. Well, young people, you heard it here first. When you've made it to Paris, you've really made it. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> until next week, guys, make sure that you're liking, subscribing. As you know, we'll be giving out free merchandise from all to all of you that who are interacting with us. So till next time, let's enjoy each other and have a blessed week.